good day, and welcome to Trust in God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm John Vest, and I'm the pastor here at the church. Have you ever been the recipient of a random act of kindness? Maybe the person ahead of you at the coffee bar paid for your coffee. Has a stranger ever helped carry your groceries to the car? Did a kind word lift your spirits? We once went to a local steakhouse, me, my wife, and our daughter. It was a Sunday after church. And after we ordered and after we enjoyed our food, the server informed us that the bill had been paid by an unnamed family who gave them money and asked the servers to randomly buy another family their meal. It was a humbling experience, something that I want to pay forward. It's interesting. We all know the phrase, it's better to give than receive, and I know that to be true. What surprises me is how much harder it can be to receive than it is to give. In a Christian church, there is a tradition of literally washing feet. Based on the account when Jesus washed the feet of his disciples, a foot washing service reminds us that we are to serve just as Jesus served, and so the simple worship gathering involves usually sitting in a circle with a basin of water and a towel and pouring a little bit of water over your neighbor's feet, shoeless of course, and drying them with a towel. Can you guess what's the hardest part of such an experience? It isn't the extraordinariness of it. The service is announced ahead of time so that people who may be uncomfortable will not be embarrassed. It isn't the idea of washing someone's feet. The hard part, for me at least, is having my feet washed. It's just some water. It's just a warm towel. It's a symbol of humility and servanthood. These are all good things, but it makes me uncomfortable. I'll wash your feet, no problem. But you wash mine? That seems to be a problem. Maybe it isn't just better to give than it is to receive. Maybe, maybe it's also easier when you think about it. It is easier for me to forgive you than it is for me to accept responsibility and understand that I need to also receive forgiveness from you. It is easier for me to give you a few coins from the richness of my bank account and ignore the poverty of my own soul. It is easier to believe you need a decent washing while I ignore the grime I've accumulated for my own living. And at least for me, that's why a good foot washing is in order every so often. So today, may I encourage us to, to do two things? One, do a random act of kindness for someone doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to cost anything at all. But for no reason but that it's a nice thing to do, do a good deed for someone today. And two, let's think about why having someone wash our feet may be embarrassing, why the passive experience of being bathed might have more meaning than just clean feet. Now here's the story from John 13. Just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world to go to the Father. Having loved his dear companions, he continued to love them right to the end. It was supper time. The devil by now had Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, firmly in his grip, all set for the betrayal. Jesus knew that the Father had put him in complete charge of everything, that he came from God and was on his way back to God. So he got out from the supper table, set aside his robe, and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. When he got to Simon Peter, Peter said, Master, you wash my feet? And Jesus answered, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but it will be clear enough to you soon. Peter persisted, You're not going to wash my feet, not ever. And Jesus said, if I don't wash you, you can't be part of what I'm doing. And Peter said, Master, if that's the case, not only my feet, to wash my hands, wash my head, 
that only my feet and my hands, my head, wash my life. So let it be today. Amen. Amen.